Hello guys, good evening. This is Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua. Uh, returning to our latest uh, update, and this is now the final one on Tropical Storm Ada, which has weakened into a tropical depression as we speak, with the international name Knock N. And this is for Monday, Monday evening, January 19, 2026, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Daga College Foundation. If you would like to watch the uh, Tagalog version, there is a link up here. Just click it. Or if you're watching via Facebook, just visit our channel, Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua, and go to the latest postings together with this English version. You can see the Tagalog version as well. We would also like to thank our partners, about this power, and the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Lena Robredo, and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. Well, after uh, two days of this storm moving very close to Catanduanes, upon uh, reaching the coastal waters of Catanduanes, after six hours, the main convection has been pushed up, okay, towards the area of uh, the North Philippine Sea, and most of its convection near the center has dissipated. That's why we experience uh, no more rain. And right now it's struggling over the Western Pacific as it moves eastward, being pushed by a weak steering uh, high pressure cell to the south of this uh, uh, system. And it's likely that uh, in the next uh, 24 to uh, 48 hours, this system will eventually become a remnant low because we have a surge of the northeast monsoon together with the increasing uh, wind shear and uh, the monsoon will bring uh, dry air inclusion into the system and eventually it will weaken and dissipate and the track will be more to the south over the uh, uh, western pacific or just along the eastern edges of the philippine sea and uh, here's the uh, latest uh, fast animation from windy.com and you can clearly see that the last night briefly the system has uh, regenerated some convection but once again after uh, 12 hours it has dissipated you can see here for the past 24 hours it has managed to develop some uh, convection near the center but right now it's again disorganized and we are experiencing some uh, improving weather good weather sunny skies sunny uh, weather but you can feel the breeze it's uh, slightly cooler because of the counterclockwise uh, circulation of this uh, tropical storm which is uh, blowing some cooler uh, uh, V's across the Bicol region and some light showers early in the morning and uh, it looks like we are now looking at the end of this uh, first tropical storm or first tropical cyclone of 2026. Those who are asking what's this system here okay what is it uh, what, what is it okay it's a low pressure system but no need to worry this will dissipate after 48 hours okay because of the blast of the surge i mean the surge of the northeast monsoon the system will not expected to intensify now here's the uh, rainfall uh, observation from our weather station here at home and uh, the past 24 hour we experienced 106.2 millimeters this was recorded uh, uh, last uh, Saturday January 17 so uh, the highest uh, 15 minute rainfall is at 8.4 millimeter around uh, 7.45 uh, in the morning of uh, January 17 so uh, we have observed a total of 106.2 millimeters in San Felipe, Naga City. In other parts of Naga, the highest 
was recorded in Ramayda village in Concepcion Grande with a high of 122. It's still lower compared to the last uh, rain event which is brought about by the shoreline that was during the 5th of January where we recorded 167 millimeters of rainfall. Okay, so uh, at least uh, the system didn't reach uh, 200 millimeter mark actually the forecast of the ECMWF is at 105 millimeters so it is a perfect forecast from the most reliable rain model present okay that's ECMWF here's the track from our Typhoon 2000 and uh, it looks like uh, we're looking at the demise of the system in the coming days Okay, uh, maybe in 48 hours it is expected to dissipate. So this is now the uh, possible track moving farther away from the country. And I'm gonna show you here the uh, multi-model tracks and all of them are tracking the system towards the east and eventually it will weaken here somewhere near the eastern edge of the Philippine Sea, very near the uh, Philippine Air Responsibility. So this is the power line. Okay. Before reaching power line. And as it moves southward. This will dissipate. And if you uh, look at the latest uh, multimodal uh, diagnostic comparison from uh, CIRA. Um, NOAA. And uh, you can see the intensity here. For the next uh, three days it will eventually weekend into an LPA and here's the uh, wind shear environment for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours the wind shear is expected to shoot up to 55 kph or 30 knots from a low of 20 kph this is due to the surge of the northeast monsoon which will bring some hostile environment over the Philippine Sea and you can see also here that the uh, relative humidity mid-level currently around 50% is expected to move farther or dip farther into uh, 30 to 20 almost 20% okay uh, relative humidity on uh, Wednesday so this is the time where the arrival of the northeast monsoon is expected to bring very low mid-level relative humidity okay and uh, for the uh, wind and pressure forecast here's the latest from ECMWF this is uh, tropical depression uh, ADA and if we move this you can see here the blast of the northeast monsoon particularly during Wednesday wherein it will dissipate ADA so here's now the uh, blast of the northeast monsoon blowing down here and like that and the system uh, which is uh, located here it will be the remnants of tropical depression other so it looks like uh, it will uh, persist through the weekend and on saturday it looks like there will be a shear line forming here that could affect eastern, uh, I mean, uh, southern and uh, southern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao and extended up to extended up to northern Mindanao. Here's the 24-hour uh, rainfall accumulation forecast. So far, we are generally dry for the next three to four days, but if we look into uh, Friday, so here's now the beginning of the shear line. We move it into uh, Saturday, there you go, and Sunday, we have here a shear line. So this is the shear line that is expected to dump heavy rains across eastern Visayas, central Visayas, as well as northern and northeastern Mindanao, that includes the uh, provinces in Caraga and northern Mindanao, including Cagayan de Oro, so watch out for possible 50 to 100 millimeters or more than 100 millimeters over these areas upon the arrival of this uh, shear line expected this weekend okay uh, the rest of the country will remain dry with some light showers along the eastern sections including Biko 
uh, this uh, this light showers are common during early evening uh, early morning night time somewhere around uh, hmm, hmm, although it's uh, during night time but the rainfall uh, very light showers can also be expected early morning and, and uh, early evening okay because of the northeast monsoon and we will be experiencing very dry and uh, cooler uh, temperatures wind chill factor um, maybe around 20 21 22 degrees centigrade so this will be a, a, a treat to us since we don't have winter weather okay mostly uh, wet and dry only so let's enjoy this uh, uh, cooler environment cooler weather for the next uh, two months and during the first two weeks of March we will return into hot and warmer days here's the wave heights those who are asking if it's okay to uh, fish around sad to say because of the blast of the northeast monsoon especially wednesday thursday friday until saturday and to the weekend we are going to experience wave heights of up to four or even five meters it depends on the uh, uh, intensity of the uh, waves they the winds that will generate these waves so it will be between two to five meters in wave heights okay so very risky very dangerous to small and medium-sized sea vessels okay it will be much lower over the west philippine sea during the span of this uh, five to six day uh, period but this will be this will happen on sunday but throughout the week three to four to up to five meters will be expected over the west philippine sea as well as over the philippine sea along the eastern part of our country and uh, patanes group of islands so there you go that's the latest for this uh monday january 19th and we will now close the special coverage on uh, tropical depression or once tropical storm ada with the international name knock n and we'll see you again uh, likely on uh, uh, Wednesday for another update. We will be back to our usual tropical weather analysis. This is Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua saying stay safe always. Be hashtag weather and thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.